Good evening, everybody. This is the Hammer Report, February chart update, part due. Part two, coming right at you. We've got a couple great charts, Microsoft, Google, GE, Berkshire, Hershey's. Who doesn't love Hershey's? This is Captain John Charts. We're coming at you unscripted. Uh-oh. And PC-free. Okay, let's get on with the charts, shall we, John? Sounds good, Kimberly. What do you got first? Microsoft. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Microsoft on a weekly chart. And as you can see, it's been able to hold the trend line up to the 2009 lows. It also... Uh, formed a channel pattern over here where a parallel channel pattern pulled back off of support ch some chart support right here as well as here's your trend line support okay and then it broke out okay which is great and came back and as as very often um, test the breakout point and so we got kind of excited about Microsoft here and, uh, and that's where we got long. This was on uh, February 12th that we posted this weekly chart. Now here's a look at the daily and a little tighter look and you'll notice that we did into that support line we did have a lower low with some support from the RSI momentum indicator, which can be bullish a lot of times, and that's helped us out. Now, it hasn't been a great one since then, but uh, Microsoft is up just over about 4.5% since we posted this chart. It's not bad. Well, I'll take it. Yeah, now, did you notice, everyone, how we had a weekly and a daily chart? And the reason is because we enjoy Murphy's multiple time frames. Why don't you explain this, John? Well, it, it went, John Murphy is very popular. He's on. He's, I think, probably one of the founders or one of the partners at uh, Stock Charts, and he's he has a list of ten things that are critical for people that are looking at trend analysis and technical analysis, and the number one thing. And, I, and I've, I've also, through my CMT, um, have I, I have known about this for a long time. One of the best things to be able to do when, and his number one rule is to look at charts in multiple time frames. So, you know, you want to, to study the longer term charts first. And in our case, we, we tend to look at monthly and yearly charts and then take them down to the weekly and then the daily if you're, uh, more of a shorter term trader than you, you may be more interested in and in, then in, in now looking at 60 minute charts and things of that nature right, the but, or the intraday charts but regardless of what your time frame is you should always look at the longer term first because and the, and the biggest reason for that is sometimes if you're just looking at a daily you, you don't see resistance levels or support levels that exist in a longer term chart so Looking at the longer term first and working your way back towards your time horizon uh, can be a great benefit for all traders and all investors. So we have next. Oh, Oracle. Oracle. Ooh, Oracle. That it, was coming into the resistance. Of yeah, it was. Oracle did come into the resistance and looked to us to be a short. Um, Again, a weekly chart here, and we did not see any follow through to the downside. Actually, Oracle broke back out above the trend line that you can see right here. It existed back into 2010. Right, and the performance had been really poor over the past year. Well, yeah, of course, can, and you can see that because down here we, we show Oracle versus the S&P, and it really has been pretty much an underperformer. Uh, since um, well, going back well, to probably sometime end of 2011, beginning of 2012, but we did get a week. We did get a weekly breakout 
Uh, and of course, today's Friday, so that's what we want to watch for Fridays for the weekly breakout. And it did, it didn't fall through to the downside. It, uh, it it did break it did break out to the upside. So nothing 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 was taken on the short side here. So we just kind of passed on this one. Now, oh, Hormel. Ooh, spam. <laughs> Spammy spammed. Spam, 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 oh, it looked like... <laughs> spam, 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 spam. This Wonderful one spam. spammed oh, right out. <laughs> All right. This is Parabolic. A... <laughs> yeah. Hormel, okay. What's going on here is... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who eats spam. Do you eat spam? <laughs> no. God, no. <laughs> Not even in Armageddon. <laughs> I'd rather eat my high-priced cat food. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather eat cat food than spam, but but anyway, they make other stuff too, though. I guess I don't know. I'm but sure they do. Anyway, you see, you can see that, that, that this has been a wonderful performer, uh, but it, it it it's just it it almost got almost parabolic, and it did hit a 3.618 Fibonacci extension off the 2009 lows. Look and, at the long bearish tail. Oh yeah, that's yeah, it's a big bearish tail. So threw a big tail out, um, has not um, pulled back very much yet, but this looks to us like an avoid. If you if you own the stock, you probably don't want to be in it. Uh, Here's the it, daily. Right, and, it, and if you own the stock, you probably don't want to be in it. If, you, if you're thinking about a short, this is probably a good place. Now you look at the daily chart, and you see, uh, if you go across, you see that it made a higher high, on the daily price with, um, again... While well, the momentum is waning. With, with the momentum diverging away from it. Right. So we think this is still a good idea. It hasn't really made much money. I think it might be up a little bit. I'm not sure, but since we mentioned this, but it, it does look like a great place to uh, think about a short idea. If you're looking for a short idea... It was beyond a bounce towards the highs. Or if you hate spam. Yep. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to something yummy. Okay. Here Yum. Is, uh, uh, chocolate. <laughs> I don't eat chocolate. Oh, uh, no. That's a shame. <laughs> but I think you do. But I... Well, I know you do. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Hershey, we, when we posted this back... On the 22nd of February, again, we're starting with a weekly chart here, and you'll see on the bottom, you get the relative strength chart versus the S&P. It broke out on a relative basis, which is impressive, uh, after kind of underperforming the S&P for quite some time, since actually since the beginning of 2015, uh, and we were waiting for a breakout on a weekly chart. Uh, we did get that this weekend. Or yes, this week. Yes, so we did. So today we, we have the weekly breakout to the upside. So the chocolate it, fountains are pouring resplendently. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so you have, now you have a price and relative strength breakout. And uh, so we're, we're, as much as this is not maybe a, a super exciting an idea and more of a conservative staple stock, uh, it, it, it is certainly looks to be a buy for us right now. All right. GE. General, the, the General Electric. Yes. Okay, so General Electric, we've liked this one for a while. Uh, again, a weekly chart on the top, and you'll see that it did break out of this trend line up here. Excuse me. And came back, tested once again, like it often does, held this support line down here. And on the bottom, you can see that GE has been outperforming the market since last summer. Outperforming when most, the SPX. Correct. When most stocks had not had started to roll over. Right, exactly. That was Okay, let's move on to the next one. It looks like we have Alphabet. Oh, Google. <laughs> you know, I, I still can't get used to calling this stock Alphabet. So I can't either. I'm calling it Google. Okay? I don't care. Anyway, so we're looking at, again, the weekly chart again here, and, and notice how we had uh, some trend line resistance that we broke out of. Mm -hmm. We had a pullback. Uh, we got back above that resistance. And on the bottom chart, we're looking at, again, Google against the S&P 500. That broke out above resistance. And again, we have, so we have now a, a relative strength breakout. And we have an absolute 
break out as well in price. Right. This and would be a buy and clear out if it's in the 675 area, if that bullish scenario changed. Right. This was from February 22nd. And you know, it, hasn't, it hasn't done much since then for us in terms of returns. It's a little positive, but not much. Right. Oh, look at this. Oh, the Berkshire Hathaway. Well, so Warren Buffett's company, it, looking at this chart, uh, this one's actually not a weekly, but a monthly, so we're going a little longer term. And you'll notice that off of the, looks like the, the, almost the 2,000 lows back here, um, a Fibonacci pullback uh, took us into the exact same place right here of uh, trend line support off the 2009 lows. And so, I mean, sometimes that's helpful when you have both the trend line and the, the Fibonacci numbers come into the place in the same, in the same spot. You also have a bullish hammer, uh, which is, 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 can be a great candlestick pattern. Yeah, and a longer-term monthly chart with the long-term trend support yep. and the FIB support. Exactly. I think we might have a daily on this, too. Oh, uh, we sure do. Okay, so you don't see it here, but notice, again, falling price in the, in the chart over here and rising momentum from the RSI indicator. We did get a breakout both on the... the uh, well, on the daily, we will have to wait for the end of the month. On the on the monthly, we don't have that yet. But this still this looks to us to be. You Warren had a tough year last year, very tough year last year. So terrible. <laughs> um, looks like things might be turning for the better for Berkshire Hathaway. All right, everybody, we really appreciate all of your views. It's incredible. If you want to read more articles, at captainjohncharts.com slash blog. And as always, we are here to help you. We can help you with your investment account, your 401k, your retirement account. We're available for coaching and the new Hammer Report subscription. We have great ideas that you can learn from to improve how to spot why, when, and where you should be. We really do pound out of you the bad habits. We know that even if you knew what to do, you might not do it. And as always, you can follow us on Stock Twits and Twitter. And you guys have a wonderful weekend. Again, thank you. We appreciate all your views. We love you. Have a great night.